On the 24th of January this year, so 2024, GasSafe introduced the industry standard updates uh, 121 and 122, which are all about the changes that have been made to the British standards 5440 parts 1 and 2. So we've had significant changes to the British standard 5440 part 1 2008 which is all about the fluing and ventilation for appliances not exceeding 70 kilowatts net on first, second and third family gases. And there has been some minor changes to BS5440 part 2 2009. So let's get on with it and find out exactly what changes have happened to these documents. So these are the documents. We've now got BS5440 part 1 2003 and 5440 part 2 2003. So let's have a look at the changes made to part 1 because there's been some big changes to this document. Now BS5440 part 1 is all about the installation, the maintenance, the servicing and the commissioning of flues and chimneys. And it came into effect on the 31st of December 2023. And it supersedes the March 2008 version which has now been withdrawn. So all the information we need now is in this document. So let's have a look at some of the changes. Now let me just clarify this 70 kilowatt net maximum rated input for the appliance. So in the case of an individual appliance connected to a chimney, the 70 kilowatt maximum rated input relates to that appliance. In the case of more than one appliance in the same room connected to a single chimney, the 70 kilowatt maximum rated input relates to the sum of the rated inputs of all the appliances. In the case of appliances in separate dwellings connected to a CFS or a communal flue system, i.e. SE ducts or U ducts, the 70 kilowatt maximum rated input relates to the rated input of each individual appliance in the individual dwellings. Now right at the front of the document are the definitions and there's been quite a few changes to the definitions which basically tells you what everything means in the standards. So these definitions include those of communal flues and light wells, windows, vents and other pathways into buildings are now simply referred to as openings into a building. Now this standard also clarifies that brick weak vents are not classed as openings into buildings. So just bear that in mind. Also, in the previous version of the standard, a ventilation outlet connected to a cooker extractor or a gas tumble dryer would not be considered an opening into a building, provided that the terminal was fitted with a non-return flaps. This provision has now been removed and therefore the ventilation outlets would now be considered an opening into a building. Vented eaves and soffits are also classed as an opening into a building. Now you can find the definition of openings in buildings at 3.41 on page 7 in the document. Now another significant change here on page 12 is all about the installation of flues in basements, uh, light wells and courtyards. So 5.22 and 5.23 gives us all the information we require when we're installing flues in these areas. Now Worcester Bosch Boilers have made this great technical bulletin here for quite a few years ago now, but all that information from the BS5440 part one is actually in this document. And it gives you all the distances that are required for when you're installing a flue in a light well, a courtyard, or a restricted area like this one here. Now on page 17 at 7.11, the document gives us information on chimneys and flue routes through buildings. Now the document gives us information on the flue routes through fire compartments and other dwellings. So things like passing a flue through a flat and then into a hallway and then to outside. 
and it basically says we cannot run a flu through a protected area or a fire compartment. Now, I think you'll all be pleased to know that all the information on installation and sizing of SE ducts and U ducts for flats has all been removed and it's been condensed down in the new document just to cover the things like servicing and maintenance of appliances that are installed on uh, U ducts and SE ducts. Now, there's also been some adding to this drawing here which is in Annex C, page 78, giving us different locations of where a flu can terminate. These include the terminal diagonally across from an opening on a different wall, a vertical terminal from another vertical terminal, a vertical terminal adjacent from an opening, a vertical terminal from a wall and a terminal facing an opening. Now they are also keen to get across to you that these distances might be different for different boiler manufacturers and even though the boiler manufacturers instructions don't supersede the regulations in this case we need to follow the manufacturers instructions on the specific distances from things like uh, structures, sides of walls, internal corners, soil pipes, eaves, stuff like that. We need to follow those rather than what is written in here. Hopefully that's clear. Now on page 80, table D1, they've given us this chimney flue installation checklist that what we can follow. So we can read what it says down here and we can write in it yes or no. So what they're hoping is we're going to take a copy of this out on site with us and when we go to install a boiler we're going to follow this checklist to see whether we can install the boiler in the position or not. Belt and braces I think but not a bad idea. So that's a quick look at the changes to BS5440 part 1. Let's have a look at the changes what have been made to BS5440 part 2 which is ventilation. Now the first thing to know is that this document excludes cooking appliances in establishments like uh, commercial buildings and colleges and also appliances run off 100% hydrogen. Now again at the very beginning of the document there has been a lot of changes to the definitions. Now 3.20 on page 5 gives us exactly what we mean by protected areas, which are areas other than an appliance compartment which is enclosed with fire resistant material. Note examples of protected areas include hall, landing, lobby, corridor, internal garage, stairway or shaft. Decommissioned SE ducts or U ducts are also considered protected areas. Now on page 8, 5.4, it gives us the information for fire rated compartments. An air vent shall only pass through a fire rated compartment if the opening is made direct to outside. No air vent shall penetrate a protected area. Attention is drawn to the building requirements for the relevant geographical location, i.e. England, Guernsey, the Isle of Man, Jersey, Northern Ireland and Scotland. Decommissioned SE duct or U duct is considered a protected area. Now tables and figures have also been updated. Now table 4 has been moved to page 12 down at the bottom and this is where you'll find all the information for flueless appliance ventilation such as cookers, flueless water heaters, uh, flueless space heaters. So you'll now find them here on page 12. So that's a look at the changes that have been made to BS 5440 part 1 which is all about flues and BS 5440 part 2, which is all about ventilation. So, hopefully you've liked the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.